same route as Guitar Tech. True. So many Charvels here. <laughs> Let's just take a look at cool. a couple of them. Should we just get like, sure. a signature out first yeah, and then yeah. just run through like the specs and stuff? Uh, so yeah, it's a brand new signature Charvel. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Kind of all, all of normal specs. We have two versions. This one just has a, a maple uh, fingerboard and neck and black finish. So we have lumen lay side dots on this, which is one thing um, going forward with future signature models that was kind of essential, especially as it gets very bright and very dark quickly on yeah. stage. So that really helped him out to see. And the Floyd Rose was something he grew up playing, he said, and just kind of got back to in recent years. And he's been loving it more and more, which I think was a, a big appeal of doing the Charvel stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Do you know, like, yeah. Jim's kind of favorite part of this? You said, like, when he was a kid and stuff, like... I don't know about parts. I, I guess just the Floyd, because you can just yeah. have so much fun just wiggling it around and making yeah. crazy whale Chaos. noises. You yeah. Know? yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, the first, uh, the first show he had that we uh, did a Floyd back on, he and I were just laughing the entire show because <laughs> he's just having so much fun and then he'd come back and we'd just both be giggling and be like, we need more. <laughs> yeah, more craziness. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, show the better, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of similar contours to his, uh, to his Fender models where a little access here and some nice contours for, uh, for comfort there and still locking tuners and yeah, kind of all the specs that people are, are used to seeing for a, a Jim Root guitar. Um, but then kind of kicked up into the metal world with a Floyd a bit. Yeah. yeah, awesome. And there's one there that's like the, the graphic one that really caught my eye. Can you take oh, us yeah, through that? Sure. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a brand new, just came out, uh, Charvel Sandinus Relic that just caught Jim's eye immediately. It's got a kind of interesting about this one that we liked was having a, a roasted uh, neck and a powerful, powerful board. Um, so we thought that was really cool, and the, the, uh, the relic kind of really goes I with his style. Yeah. yeah, it's kind yeah. of a cool worn-in look, and put a FTW Co. sticker on it that he wanted to do, and uh, yeah, put his put his pickups in it, um, just because he has them all to keep it consistent with everything else live yeah. for the sound. But yeah, this one's been getting a lot of play too, and it's just a great looking and sounding guitar. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. How many Charvels does he actually play during the set say today at sick new world yeah how many is he going to go through depending on the length of set he'll probably play uh maybe four or five tonight awesome yeah, yeah. awesome how long's the set uh just maybe an hour and 15 minutes tonight. okay cool so a lot yeah. of running around yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we switch out anytime they have a break just because he has such a great guitar collection and there's so much good stuff we just try to cycle it all through um and get some good play out of all the wonderful things he has awesome awesome yeah, well i can't yeah. wait to see him in action thank yeah, you so much for great. taking us through of course, yes, thanks, thanks for Brad. Cheers.